In Syncro field, you can click the Documents icon at the bottom bar to check out all the downloaded file, online file, file through connections, and plan set. To download a folder, you can just click the right side, three dots, and hit download. Or you can click the folder name to enter it and choose to download individual files by clicking the three dots at the right side of the file name and hit download. In Syncro field, markups can be placed in online or offline documents. Selecting a PDF file will open the file but will not open the markup tools. To access the markup tools, select the three dot icon to the right of the PDF and then select markup. At the top of the display, you'll have tools for controlling the view on the left side and markup tools. Use one finger to move the view around, two fingers to zoom in and out. Closing fingers together zooms out, spreading fingers apart zooms in. first tool is a callout. It consists of a text box and leader line with an arrowhead. Touch the screen and drag to place the arrowhead and leader line. Then tap the screen to place the text box and bring up the keyboard to enter text. Tap on the screen, closes the keyboard input, and brings up a pop-up menu to modify the callout attributes. Change the color, line and border thickness, opacity. These pop-up tools are available for all markups placed in the file. On the slider bars, change the thickness, change the colors. The other icons on this pop-up menu is a flag icon to publish an issue from the callout. This will pull up a forms and allow you to fill out the form to publish an issue. Also, there is a trash can icon. This is to delete the markup. A one-click issue tool allows a user to select a location in the PDF and opens the form dialog. Activate the tool. Tap on the screen to place a flag and then open the form and open the form dialog. At the top, select the type of task, whether it's a construction issue or construction RFI. Fill out the issue in RFI, attach any additional data to the form, then tap submit. freehand tool has four basic color options. By tapping any one of the color activates the tool. Use your finger to draw around the area or draw the shape. Multiple markups can be placed while the tool is active. Tap on the icon again will pull up the markup attributes where you can change colors, line thickness, and opacity. Selecting the back in the upper left corner will close the PDF and save the markups. Open the text and shape toolbar and select the shape icon, which is the third icon from the left. A user can place standard shapes such as a rectangle, ellipse, lines, lines with arrows, polygons, and clouds with this toolbar. Like the text tools, activate the tool by tapping the icon. By tapping the icon again, the icon will open the markup attribute settings. For the rectangle, ellipse, and line, and arrow tools, function by dragging your finger across the screen. The line string, polygon, and cloud tools work by tapping the screen to place the vertices of the shape. For the polygon and cloud tools, must be closed elements. In order to close the polygon and cloud tools, one must type or tap on the first vertex place, which shows a square on the endpoint. This will close the shape and end the command. Going back to the markup toolbar, 
On the far right is a list tool, which will bring up a list of the markups in the document and allow a user to create issues for the markup. By selecting the markup from the list, the page will focus on that selected markup, select the icon to create an issue if needed. Going back in the text and shape toolbar, the second icon from the right will open tools for adding highlights, underlines, and strike throughs to text in PDF. Many highlight colors are available by activating or tapping the icon a second time will open up the menu for the markup attributes. Activate the tool and then place elements by dragging your finger across the text to be highlighted. and the command. The underline, squiggly underline, and strike through tools work the same way. Activate the preferred tool, drag finger across the element to mark up, deactivate the tool, and save placement. Selecting on any markup will open the pop-up dialog to change attributes, delete the markup, and publish issue tools. Close the highlight toolbar and select the third icon from the right. This is the signature tool. The signature allows the user to create and save a signature to place within the PDF. If no signature has been created, create the signature by dragging a finger or stylus across the screen. A signature may also be typed or uploaded from a separate file. After the signature is created, tap the screen to place or tap create, then tap the screen to place the signature. You can also use the free text tool to place a text box and type dialog or type text into the text box. Activate the tool, then in the document, drag a finger to place the text box. Type in the text, desired text, and tap the screen to end the command. This concludes the video on PDF markup in Synchro Field. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.